Good afternoon, YouTube. This opening scene brought to you courtesy of a question by Noah David. Um, so, yeah, Noah, we'll get to it eventually. But, there it is. Uh, let's see. So, I've got a project here in the garage, and I figured now would be a, a, an appropriate time to answer a couple of quick questions, uh, given the uh, nature of the project that I get going on. Um, so, moving on. Been a lot of questions about the, uh, the Danger Ranger. Um, and I'll give you guys updates on some of the other vehicles as, as time goes along. But, and in regards to the Danger Ranger, uh, it actually donated its organs to, uh, to another pickup. Kayla and I changed directions. One of the things that we found out when we moved into town is that it is uh, a little bit more difficult than it was to to have multiple projects and so I had to kind of prioritize a little bit and uh, had another ranger needed some parts out of the green ranger um, the danger ranger so no the swap never got done uh, and the danger ranger is no longer with us so uh, let's see what did I have else for questions um, Actually, that answers most of the questions that I had uh, regarding the current, pro regarding the, the Green Ranger, and in regards to my current project. So, Jeremy Kostanik, I hope I uh, pronounced that right, asks, what other projects do I have? So, let's see. I've got a whole bunch, honestly, um, but you'll probably only see one at a time. Uh, until summer-ish, you know, and then we may cover a little bit more ground. Last week or so has been uh, well below zero here. Um, and so we're doing most of the work just in the garage, staying inside, trying to stay warm. But without further ado, the project of the day is this little ranger here. So what I got is, uh, it's a 1989 Ford Ranger, it's V6, 5-speed. Um, uh, the last registration was June of 2010, so the pickup has been sitting for approximately 8 to 9 years. Um, I got it cheap, like really, really cheap. Um, it was pretty straight, uh, obviously needs a windshield. And in the next uh, series of videos, I'm going to kind of go through some of the things that, uh, that I would do personally to try and get this pickup ready for uh, the road uh, to drive, to sell, or to give to some long-lost uncle that unfortunately doesn't have a vehicle or who knows. Um, and so uh, stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll cover some of the basics of how to get this thing back on the road.